I just wanted to let you know. Not now, Isabel. We're in the middle of a clusterfuck. I'm on my way to see POTUS. This isn't about my initiative. I can help Please, you with this. Just give me. it a break already. I know how badly you want a seat at the big kids' table. I have been there. I get it. I'm all about mentoring women, and I will do whatever I can for you, but it is not happening today. The NGO I was with, we worked with child brides in Mozambique. From the year 2000 to the year 2015, there were over 200,000 child marriages in this country. How the hell was that not on our radar? So after getting javelins thrown at me the entire briefing, I had my team look into this. They found it in every state, every race, across all socioeconomic data. It's most common in poor and rural communities and within conservative religious groups. So Christian, Orthodox, Jewish, Muslim, Mormon. I had my team run numbers as well, and of the 200,000 child marriages you mentioned, over two-thirds of them were 17. Still a minor. 985 of them were 14, and 10 of them were only 12 years old. This is a human rights violation. I want it stopped. Can I sign an executive order banning it? It's a state's rights issue. What's the issue? Marriage is legislated by the states. Why aren't the states fixing it? Freedom of religion, for one. Premarital sex is a sin. You want the kids married before they start having it. And when an underage girl does get pregnant, there are a lot of people that believe the child is better off if the parents are married, even if the mother's a child herself. That's still not right. The law states that you are a minor until you are 18. We are a country that is supposed to protect its children. In fact, we've got laws that do that. We prevent them from drinking, smoking, gambling. Minors aren't allowed to vote, open a bank account. Run an apartment. Rent a car. Buy fireworks. Sign a contract. They can't hire an attorney, which they would need to get a divorce. Okay, so what do we have to do to get the states to ban it? You can't draw a hard line at 18. Oh, I'm sorry, who are you? Isabel Pardo, director of your Office of Social Innovation. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. President. Okay, Isabel, why don't you explain to me why you were pro-child marriage? I'm not. Banning it was one of the first initiatives I proposed when I started here. So what happened? A fight from the right, which I was prepared for. What I didn't see coming was equal opposition from the left. Who on the left was against it? The ACLU believes marriage is a fundamental right. Planned Parenthood fears the ban is a slippery slope. I am so tired of the slippery slope argument, especially when it comes to legislation. Laws are specific. Banning child marriage wouldn't do anything to abortion or anything else. But you still think that I should do nothing. No, I, I think you should address the root causes. Which are? So many girls that get pregnant are coerced into getting married by their parents. Address teen pregnancy. Mandate that all public schools offer sex education and access to condoms. Good luck on that one. Condoms and classes aren't enough. We need an outright ban. Sir, if you're looking for an easy answer, there isn't one. Yes, there is. Pass a law. Mr. President, are you still planning on traveling to North Carolina? Yes, I am. And in my opening comments, I will tell the American people that I plan to sign an executive order that target the root causes of child marriage. Thank you.